Welcome to game four of set two. Rancor now up 2 1. Upper left hand corner, actually, what are the, what's the color swap? Let's go with, I like these colors. We got the Zergling green, Masuchi in the upper left hand corner. Bottom left hand corner, we have Rancor starting as, starting as the yellow Zerg. On Fighting Spirit once again. I think, I was actually thinking about this with Twitch chat in the background where I don't, I also wonder with Fighting Spirit, because oftentimes if you go for a Zergling Flood as a follow-up, it has a lot of success. But because Fighting Spirit is such a large map, I'm wondering how much, and also at cross positions, I'm wondering how much that played a factor. I'm going to reiterate that call to give support to Zero either in subscribing to his Twitch channel um, or going ahead and just, you can give donations to BSL. If you just look at BSL's webpage, there's like places you can tip, joining the Patreon, I think is a great thing to do. You get a lot of the replays actually from Patreon. Nine pool opener, looks like for Misuchi this time, opposite side of the map. This might actually be the flip situation potentially. We have an overlord being built and it looks like it is going to be a ogre pool for Rancor. So that's going to be a build order advantage for Rancor. It's gonna have that overlord out earlier, slightly more, su more supply, more drones in theory to work with off the bat. The, the slightest of, it, of advantages here in that margin. Masuchi dropping gas, so his gas will be a little bit later, but, and he's also gonna have the scout advantage. So this overlord is moving into that upper left-hand corner where Masuchi's overlord is making its way to the upper right-hand corner. Now granted, in the previous match where I thought this was, the, keep in mind, this is the advantage that gave Rancor that first win. And I think we're actually seeing, I think Rancor just needed to wake up a little bit, like a Rancor itself. I actually feel it was interesting. I was watching The Mandalorian recently and I still, my brain still couldn't stop, or sorry, Boba Fett recently, and I still couldn't stop thinking about StarCraft because of, uh... anyway. Zerglings being produced. Looks like six Zerglings in the opposite corner. Rancor is gonna have potentially more surface area to try to defend. Actually, if he even goes for, so once seeing these Zerglings, I'm wondering if he might even go for an in-base uh, hatchery as far as a follow-up. He is upgrading Zergling speed. Zergling speed is going to be a little bit earlier for Masuchi, so there's going to be a window where his Zerglings are somewhat smarter. Rancor, now it's the decision. Yeah, do you want to go for that in-base? Do you want to just skip it, go for layer? Looks like he's just going to skip it altogether, potentially just go for layer rather than opting. Yeah, so layer upgrading. The Zerglings arriving for Masuchi, but not able to breach that ramp. Layer upgrading for Masuchi, that's going to be a little bit earlier. But again, Rancor up a drone. And it's the drone counts that count. Masuchi going for the counter blockade. He's like, okay, I'm just going to work this the opposite direction where I'm going to try to block that ramp. Rancor not going for, not being very strict with his uh, Zergling positioning here. Ten Zerglings there. More Zerglings moving up. And it looks like Masuchi, yeah, continuing to produce Zerglings. He wants to just try to punch this with just pure Zerglings. So interesting play from Masuchi. Maybe just trying to make sure that Rancor wasn't able to get down the ramp and while there were fewer Zerglings at closer location, prevent the surrounds. Masuchi again trying to be patient with his Zergling positioning. However, it doesn't look like it's working out this time. He's going to go ahead and back off. Two Zerglings are splitting off to go for an end around, potentially. It looks like they are going to be successful in doing so. Rancor moving up. Does he have additional? He does have additional two Zerglings to potentially defend this, but that doesn't prevent kills. Sp er, layer is up. Spire's already being developed by Masuchi. These two Zerglings able to get in the line. This is certainly going to disrupt, but one drone down. That's going to put Masuchi two drones up overall. These Zerglings coming back to home base and Masuchi doing what he needs to do to get an advantage in this map. Single Zerglings still running around getting plenty of scouting information. So right now Masuchi knows in this build order that he's got, first of all, a lead. And he's also going to be able to get a look at the drone count and know what's happening there. The Zerglings coming all the way back to home base before running back out. Masuchi has the high ground now. I have the high ground, Anakin. More overlords being produced, more zerglings being produced, and it almost feels like it's a flip situation from the previous match. However, it is a much, much smaller margin here. One drone lead. The Spire timing is not going to be that far off. It looks like a creep colony being dropped from Masuchi, knowing that he's a drone up, potentially to allow him to open himself up to be a little bit more aggressive. This overlord is trying to back out. And the fight over this Overlord could be the, the game-winning decider here because these Mutalists are going to pop out earlier. 
They're going to have a period of time before the Mutalisks are able to get here to defend. Some Zerglings are sitting underneath. And I think that might be the decision for the something colony. However, there is a potential overlord exchange situation where it's an overlord for an overlord. And there's also this overlord that Masuchi's going to need to defend across that nine o'clock base. And that could be a potential fight location. So mutilus being produced on both sides, Rancor somehow up just to supply. But keep in mind that something colony is there for more ground defenses for Masuchi. The mutilisks are moving out now. And it looks like, yeah, the Mutalists are just going to engage right here. These Mutalists just, yeah, they're going to go for their free win. So it's going to be Overlord Exchange. And Rancor up by the thinnest of margins. It looks like just potentially one Overlord up. This is going to put both of them in the red momentarily. And both going to go ahead and back off. And now it's really anyone's game. 27 supply to 25 supply. Masuchi down an Overlord overall. Does have... The advantage of a something colony in his main has some nice positioning of zerglings near his natural but who's going to be able to strike where and it looks like these overlords or sorry these mutalisks able to engage rancor i think getting the drop right there and getting some free fire shot trying to force these mutalisks out of position looks looking to engage and moving shot Causing two of them to get taken out very early. And more damage happening as they're walking. So Masuchi making a critical error. Losing three Mutalisks for nothing. So now all of a sudden Rancor up with a dominant 10 supply. And now Rancor, if he just holds the high ground himself. Continues to produce Mutalisks. Supply cap right this second. He should actually be able to, once he has this grouping of Mutalisks out, he can move up and just go for an attack. It looks like Rancor actually moving out with the Zerglings rather than going for, rather than positioning the Zerglings in a defensive posture. He's going to actually flood them out to get aggressive. The Mutalisks moving forward. They smell blood in the water. That is eight Mutalisks on the front. There is... A problem of range and it looks like he's going to move the mules up to force a fight over that zergling line push the zerglings forward some scourger up in the air able to pick off some damage but the zerglings have able to, have been able to puncture the high ground in the meantime i love using the star wars metaphor there's still that something colony right there to engage the drones trying to defend but the mules have been wiped out of the air and it looks like rancor is going to be able to take this match as well seven drones left for masuchi Actually, it's not over yet. Another Overlord taken out. Masuchi down to 11 supply compared to 23. Not exactly the situation you want to be in. He's still trying to fight it out. These Mutalists very weak, but we're actually baiting them in. Three Mutalists remaining. Picking away at that one remaining. More Scourge moving up. Rancor not even bothering to micro against the Scourge. And now three very weak Mutalists attacking the high ground. There's GG. Rancor up 3-1 and on the verge of taking his first set. Good matches. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for listening.